Mm. For example, like Maguire now, like he's a top player, <laughs> like someone that England needs. You know what I mean? And like he's just getting caned like all the time. Mm. It's like not, there's no need for it. Fan channels. Yeah. We touched on it a little bit in, in, in the sort of first half of the show. I love the West Ham fan channel Hammers Chat, right, with Gio and Gonzo. To, to, oh, okay, to, yeah, yeah, have, yeah. Have you, what, you know yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about Gonzo, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do players care about fan channel? I know you can't speak on behalf of all of them, yeah. but what's the general consensus when it comes to I fans? Think, uh, it's it's a difficult one because, like, as I said outside, like, we're all in it together. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, we all want to get the three points every week. We all want to play well every week. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't happen in it yeah that's just life and like fan channels sometimes you may feel a way how you've played or someone else has played and they say different and you just think i, I don't really agree with that yeah um and to be fair i don't mind that like generally don't mind if someone doesn't think you played well fair enough but i think it's when it goes too too far and they try to be a bit vindictive about it yeah um and not not just to me but to like to the lads like mm -hmm. some of the lads like don't deserve what they get do you know what i mean 100 like, yeah. they've done so much for the team and for example it changes so quick next week they'll be a hero do you know what i mean yeah i think it is a bit unfair because if we were robots fair enough like say what you want but like we still have to go out there and perform next week and know that it's there is a pressure because we want to win for you do you know what i mean it's mm -hmm. not so much for us it's it's for the club that's mm -hmm. why we're doing it so i'd say yeah the fan channels it probably would be best not to watch them or, or look at what people say because it's probably just more of a focus thing yeah um because you don't want to lose focus and you want to just continue to to move forward like unfortunately like last night you just have to forget about it yeah yeah in in times we played well and in times we didn't play so well but that's just i think it is, isn't it? i think that's why out of all the fan channels out there like hammers chat is my favorite because they don't they don't go in on players do you know yeah. what i mean they do like they have, they do their reviews and stuff but they're they're they're, they're so fair and they i think they interview a lot of the boys as well so when i say fan channels i'm i'm talking kind of more kind of like the aftv model and yeah, stuff yeah, 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 you know yeah. when the players are outside the ground uh, the fa the fans yeah, are outside yeah, the ground yeah. and they're fuming yeah. and Stuff like that. Did you ever watch yeah. AFTV? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, um, of course you did. Up. You're an Arsenal fan. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. We played um, Arsenal 23s once at Bournemouth. Right. And I was playing. I literally looked to my right in the stands. I don't know why. I had tyres there with a the big headphone. It was like watching the game. It, oh, it was class, mate. Like, I would never have expected him to be there. Um, but yeah, it was funny. Would you watch... So obviously you've just said you don't really like the ones about your own team, but you've, you've yeah. watched AFTV. Would, yeah. Do you still get that sense of, even though they're not players on your team, you're still a bit like, they are yeah, just footballers? Yeah, like... yeah. I think I think it is so harsh. Like, you could name so many players off the top of your head, which, like, getting hammered. Even, like, Trent now. Like, oh, no. Like, the flack he gets, mate. In, like, all of a sudden, the last month, ridiculous, he's mental. Yeah, yeah. And, like, for example, like, Xhaka, like, how good's he playing at the minute mm. for Arsenal? And, like, two years ago, he was getting hammered. He's out the door, like... And then next time he gets a red card, it's going to Yeah, 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 it's exactly. gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just think, like... Yeah, he's so volatile. Like it's, it, it doesn't need to be. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, but yeah, I don't know the reason why. Is it hard to ignore social media responses to games and stuff? Or? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. It's so difficult because kind of makes you want to think. Do you know what? I don't need to be on social media. Like, but you need it. Like, mm, you yeah. do need it to interact, and and everyone has it. So why shouldn't a certain profession have it do you mm -hmm, know what I mean? yeah. and, and use it like it's a tool to have and use and it's a fantastic tool mm. but it's everything's just sometimes used the wrong way do you know what i mean and like it's got to be just more support like you're never gonna if someone plays badly and you keep hammering them you know what's gonna happen it's not rocket science it's gonna be a negative cycle like every game yeah. they're gonna be going out i'm thinking oh like what the fans gonna say and do you know what i mean like players will get that sometimes you get that you think oh like the fans are going to be on me today, and like, and you, it's just not needed. What about in person at games? Do you ever hear things? You're playing obviously on the yeah. side of the pitch. Do you hear uh, things shouted from the crowd? Yeah, I Does think, that I affect think that's you? Different. That's more of a laugh to be yeah. fair. Like when you you might make a mistake or you might do something the fans don't like and they groan or you you hear curse words at you. Mm. It's kind of funny because it's 
yeah, it's it's just part of the game, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and and you you learn that from an early age, like how how fans are. It's just passion, isn't it? Do you ever passion interact with them when they um, say things? No, no, no. You can't. You, you got to pretend you, you haven't heard it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but some sometimes it's good. Maybe in a warm up or something. Um, if the fans try to hammer me or whatever, like it's it's one of them. It's more. I wouldn't say it's out of spite. It's just more to like put you off yeah. when you realize it's more that then it, it doesn't really affect you as much. You know what I mean? It's not personal. It's just to try and, I don't know, shift you off your game type of thing. Have you seen Ted Lasso? No, I've heard it's quality. It's I decent. It. Like the, the footballing bits in it are a bit cringe, like yeah. the green screen bits yeah. and that, but that's not really what it's about. It's about like this, it's, so a quick synopsis, like a, a guy wins like the amateur league in, in, in American football, gets hired by a Premier League side. It's a fictional side called AFC, AFC Rich, Richmond. Yeah. And that shows made me like tear up quite a lot because it's quite emotional, right? And I'm somebody who cries at stuff quite easy. And even though, like, I think that kind of media does the world of good for the kind of twats on tw on Twitter and how they handle it. Because in the show, he's going through some like personal shit in his life, and it makes you realise that footballers and football managers and that are just human. Yeah, do you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? If they're if it, would that change? How would you be now as somebody who's been on the other side? If you go to a f football game as a fan, yeah. you're never sh you you yeah, would no 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 never because you just, you just yeah you see it so differently. Obviously, you're in the changing room before and after the game, and you know what it's like. Like we we don't really want to go over to the fans when we lose. You know how bad we feel like clapping the fans. They've come all the way up to wherever Newcastle away to to come and watch us and. They're so far up, we can't interact with them or we play bad, waste the money for them. Like, it's gutting. Mm. Like, it's it's something that no player wants to do, isn't it? Mm. Um, and I, I get it. That's why fans are frustrated because they if they're paying their money, they want to see their team play well. Um, and obviously, footballers do get a lot of money and that's the profession that they're in, so they want to see higher quality mm -hmm. all the time. But it just doesn't work like that. Like, because... We're humans. You make mistakes. There's vulnerabilities there. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, at times it is difficult. But on the flip side of that, if you have a worldie, <laughs> are you searching? Oh, buzzing. Are you searching yeah. on Twitter? Buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. To be fair, um, when I was <clears throat> maybe in the beginning, mm -hmm. um, when you like have a good game and like in the Premier League, like it's you're on adrenaline, you're on a buzz, and you think, wow, like what are these people saying about me mm -hmm. like, is is mental, but. But now, yeah, I don't really look at it positive or negative because it's you only listen really to what the manager's saying. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's really the opinion you can only take on because he picks the team, he plays you, he sees you every day mm -hmm. in training sort of thing. So, yeah. I find as well, because um, every now and then we'll see something on here, we get a bit of criticism for it on Reddit because people pick apart every yeah, yeah, little yeah, bit yeah, of yeah. everything. And, like, we give Stevie banter all the time, but he's like our best mate. Like, yeah, is it, yeah. like they... They don't understand the dynamic we have. Yeah. So I might say something to Stevie and then on Reddit, that they'll all kick off and go, oh, he took it too far with that. Yeah, yeah. And I find sometimes the first few comments influence what the other people are saying. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So if a player has a bad game, oh, he was out of position here. As an average football fan, I don't know football as well as, yeah. the, as the professionals. I don't know if Sufau is out of position here, yeah. right? But if I see loads of people on Twitter saying it, I might go, oh, he's out of position yeah, all yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it must frustrate you that... Yeah. I would say that is like the nitpicker. That's the one that's so frustrating because you'll see like a comment someone says and then it's like a spiral for, for example, like you're seeing with players now, oh, mm. he can't do this, he can't do that. And then everyone goes, oh, he can't do this, he can't do that. And then it's a thing that gets onto the news. Then... It's just creates such a big thing, and then there's a focus on it, like, yeah. and they just think players don't need that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, you never, you're never gonna be able to excel. Like, mm -hmm. for example, like Maguire now, like he's a top player, <laughs> like someone that England needs. You know what I mean? And like he's just getting caned like all the time. Mm. It's like, not, there's no need for it. No, like, genuinely, no need for it. Hundred percent. I find it mad how often when I go to games, people who are at games all the time, I'm no tactical genius, just yeah. don't understand yeah. what's happening. I, I go to Scotland games, my family are from Glasgow, I go to Scotland games quite a lot. I think I mentioned it before on the pod, but I remember 
you know, when a striker is like standing offside behind the line and then yeah. will step up and back off. Yeah. And, but, so family behind just shouting, you're offside. Like, <laughs> he's playing for his country. Yeah. He's the best in his position in the entire country. You think he doesn't know yeah. the offside role? Yeah. And that, it's the same. It was then Scotland did like season tickets where for all the home qualifiers, you could have like this, you could sit in the same seat. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea. But it turns out it wasn't because we had this family behind us. And I remember one game, uh, like, um, some guy, it might have been Andy Roberts, I can't remember, but like broke at like left back, ran like 80 yards, beat two players, cut inside, shot, and just hit the side netting. And the guy next to me went, Oh, for fuck's sake. I've been going to Scotland for 20 years, no one's ever done that. <laughs> Never, not once. Uh... I was saying this to you when we went to West Ham and Lech, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, a few weeks ago for yeah. us now and that we had a couple of people next to us who were just giving all the best advice to you guys <laughs> yeah. like, if you could hear them would have been a, it was an alright game anyway but you would have won about 8-0 oh, it's funny and it is like that. You you pay your money you're allowed an opinion like you can you can shout stuff like, the only reason I find it funny is because mm. the players can't really where we there's no chance you would have heard him yet so the only reason he's shouting it is so the people around him <laughs> yeah. know that he knows what he's talking about no one else is getting any benefit from that confirm once and for all if you ever heard a fan go Ben push up and you go I should push up now <laughs> <laughs> to be fair you do hear him go get forward get, and you're like ah oh, steady on mate because <laughs> I know the ball's coming back that way yeah. yeah oh I love it